and if you haven't been paying attention to my videos over the past several weeks now maybe even a month or so or two months we've been calling this for the longest just by taking a look at the chart we have gone sideways for like ever but but i did say that once we do see some volume kicking in and we do see a breakup from above this long ranging sideways action for the longest we should be expecting a much higher pump to the upside that's exactly what happened so hats off for all of you who's been paying attention to my video or to been holding this coin since all the way way back over here so if you find it interesting guys give me a like subscribe hit the bell notification so why don't we just roll on with the video and start off with chloe chloe it looks like we are on the verge of hitting that one million dollar market cap and if you've ridden this ride all the way from down here you would have been up by more than 362 percent move to the upside however as we are witnessing right now we're seeing even a bigger pump to the upside so if you've been accumulating this range over here and we saw that crazy ride up to here you would have been easily up by more than 6x of return in fact we've even wicked well above the resistance line and you would have easily got there about 8x if you have taken some profit out from here then fantastic because ultimately we are going to see a form of rejection and some pullback activity once that happens then you should be prepared to take some profit in order for you to reload again to chloe but looking at the chart especially on the four hourly one it looks like we've already done that uh, staircasing our way up so any pullback we get that would be a perfect re-entry for another one otherwise if you've been holding and been paying attention to the chart like a hawk you won't need to do so much of that especially if you already loaded up so much down the lower levels but it still be worth taking some profit out because ultimately you can reuse that back into chloe as we should be expecting a much bigger gaze coming in for this project now we caught this market cap at one hundred and fifty six thousand dollars. wow 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 from that one hundred fifty six thousand dollar market cap 10x from there would put the market cap at 1.5 billion 100x you'd be on 15 and then a thousand x it will be at 150 million dollar so for you guys who've been holding this token since uh as a low market cap at 156 thousand dollars and then you should be expecting or at least wait until when we reach a market cap of 1.5 billion now that would be an amazing feat for this project do i reckon that's possible of course i do if you take a look at the total supply it's only at but slightly under 1 billion with a tiny market cap and it's a pretty decent meme perhaps we could put it in a bracket of premium much like success kit which we'll be discussing in this video so so far guys you know congratulations and that has off to you all we're going to skip to success kit shortly because we've got nothing else to say for side eye chloe well actually why don't we just zoom out for a second and just just take a look at overall market go to a higher time frame and let's check this out wow guys look at that that just looks beautiful if we do pump much more higher from here then we should be in discovery phase and the sky is the limit so yes guys so right now don't have really much to say here at all besides from if we do see a pullback don't be shocked we should be expecting at least a healthy one back down to this level before we move our way to the upside so yes guys so that's it for chloe why don't we quickly jump into uh success kid because currently with success kid we are seeing a green so a red right now we are only about 2.6 percent down at the current time of this video if we take a look at the market cap is that 10.39 million and look at this that's a nice move to the upside if you've been following my last video if you haven't go check them out because you can understand exactly why i made this drawing because ultimately we could see a pump to the upside which we had done it looks like there should be a retracement if we do see one this could be it right now why don't we just zoom out slightly 
and it looks like we are literally on a verge of pulling back down which is extremely healthy looking much further to our left these are the areas which we need to clear the first area was is to get up towards this resistance line and break that last high over here because we've done that quite convincingly we should be expecting some form of cooling off period which is right now if we do pull back into this area right here that'd be a decent area for reaccumulation or we'll add some more for a continuous move to the upside line and if that's to happen then guys our next target should be the last all-time highs in terms of the percentage from now to the current price to the all-time high is only at 65 percent move away from the all-time highs now that is a fantastic feat for this one guys if you've been holding for the longest as well as i have then congrats hats off to you all we've already put in separate trades over here we've gone sideways action from here and eventually we were, we were expected to see a much more bullish continuation to the upside however if we do see a retracement back down to this level i won't be so fearful but always gonna take some profit from here because you can almost reload back into this level here for continuation to the upside. Overall, I'm extremely bullish on this project because if you take a look at the market cap, it's only right, the current run right now, it's only at 10.39. The last time when we saw this, or should I say the earliest that we saw this was just under, I think three mil and the total supply is only 88 million. So we can see a much more higher price. How much higher can we go? Well guys, stick around for my next video on these projects where i can give you my predictions if you like the sound of that just give me a like subscribe hit the bell notification so you'll be updated and notified for when that video comes out so why don't we head over to black cock emu <laughs> this one's quite funny guys because even though the market cap has gone up slightly from the last time taking a look at the overall picture guys this is still pretty pretty bullish reason why because we've gone down we've gone sideways very similar to uh success kid and side and chloe that we are start starting some volume over here and noticing some high highs it's not as volatile as uh, chloe or success kid but eventually it will be an only time will tell just how much more higher can we go we can still easily reach the next well the last all time highs and much more higher if we were to just zoom out slightly, we did make some drawings of here from my previous videos. If you haven't seen that, go check my last video so you have better understanding why I drew these videos before my current video, which makes sense because these are the areas which we need to bounce from before we see a continuation to the upside. That is only if we were to see a much more move to the upside. We've gone up from here, we made this weird little um, sideways action here that could be a quite decent area for re-entry or quite possibly if for even a little bit further down from here then this range here would be even better for an entry for a move to the upside so let's say if you do come back here and you do go for an entry from here to that top there is about 61 percent move to the upside however you're not here for the short term trade you're actually here for the long term or hodling because that way at least we should be retesting our last all time highs from here which would be a quite decent move to the upside so measuring from the current price to the very top that can easily get you a but you have to be patient guys it won't happen overnight so from here to the last all time highs is approximately 7x away and even that it is still exceptionally decent but it's up to you what you do with your profits or with your trade i'm just letting you know exactly what i reckon is going to happen with the project it's got at least about a 50 50 chance as we all know you can either go up or down but i'm still quite bullish i'm not bullish for the long term i'm not quite sure i expect that at least a minimum um yeah 10x from here could we do 50x quite possibly it all depends what happened with cock in if cock in decide to go absolutely crazy then quite possibly black cock in could follow but either way guys i will leave it there for this project and let's head over to cheers cheers has been doing pretty decent as of late at first i wasn't quite sure whether they were bounce back but ultimately we saw some life kicked in whilst we were back over here for that quick move to the upside however 
whenever we see an explosion ring like this, always looking at expect a 50% retracement for a possible entry. Had it done so, this would have been that parabolic move up. Around about 50% here for an entry that still be a quite decent move because ultimately we'll be dancing away sideways here before seeing another pump or retest back up to this line which we had done with then reverse back down into this area so we can consider this area here to be a re-accumulation area right here as long as we are going sideways here i'm not too fearful but once we do see a break to the upside that's when you should be looking for a additional trade for a move to the upside because looking at a bird's eye view it looks like we've only just got two more resistance to get through before ultimately we can go back up to retest the all-time highs measuring from our current price to the all-time highs that's approximately yep 13x from here which is a fantastic trade to be had let's head over to the tokenomics 1.3 guys this could possibly be also an easy another thousand x from here you let me know in the comments whether you reckon we can get to that thousand x or are we just going to hit the hundred x and then flat line from there one but anyway i'll leave that over for you guys just make sure just make sure if you'd like to find out what's what might happen next on this project in my next video just head over towards my youtube channel subscribe hit the bell notification and you will see the pop-up for my future videos especially on cheers token now let's head over to the penultimate token and that is lfgo with LFGO, the current market cap is at 17.97 mil and a total supply of 999 million, which is not too bad. I think that's the same as, let's have a look. I think that's the same as, yep, as Cheers thought so. So they both share the same amount of, or very similar uh, total supply. But checking the charts, guys this is pretty pretty healthy retracement what we're seeing right now we've made a lovely move to the upside so for any of you guys who missed out on this move then i'm sorry guys you you have missed out on that one however it looks like you got a second bite of uh, another leg up move which would take us much more higher than the last high highs for any of you guys who got in around about there congratulations because you'd be up in a pretty decent profit had you taken some profit from here that's quite smart of you because potentially you can re-add it <sighs> dt1 because potentially what you can do you can go back into lfgo in the reaccumulation phase or the area which we might come back for a retest to load up some more before we continue our way back to the upside however even if we don't push back it much further down from here it doesn't matter so much because usually whenever we see a massive move like this usually we do come back to retrace at least about 50 or 60 percent uh, move down and that's a nice gold locker area for a continuation to the upside once we do come back down to retest those levels now usually that does happen but in the worst case scenario we could actually fall all the way back down to the area where we made that initial move to the upside if we don't then this would be a nice little uh, reaccumulation area in order for you to be able to pick up a lot more of lfgo now going back into the tokenomics it looks like it's only 17.9 mil which means we can easily do 10x from here which will put the market cap at 170 million 100x from here it will put the market cap at 1.7 billion with a total supply of just under 1 billion guys this could also potentially go much higher than your 1000x but let me know in the comments whether you are bullish on this project and whether you reckon we can hit that 1000x either way guys i've given you all the plays of these meme tokens that can easily do you a thousand x which one of those do you reckon we hit the thousand x first which one will be, will be last which one are you mostly bullish on or which one do you reckon hit or die before it even reaches 100x from here either way thank you very much for tuning into this video 
if you've gained some knowledge or found it useful and informative do me a favor head over towards my youtube channel subscribe hit the bell notification scroll down check out my last video on these projects and i'll see you all in the next one